This is Dr. David W. Kim. Today's video blog is about the nasoceptal L strut, which is a part of the nasal septum, and how this is the foundation of aesthetic and functional rhinoplasty. I have recently had the privilege of speaking at the sixth biennial Milan rhinoplasty course in Italy, headed by Dr. Pietro Palma. We united several rhinoplasty experts throughout the world, and I had the privilege of presenting on this topic. The septum is the partition that separates the two sides of the nose, but it serves more than a partition. It serves as the foundation of the nose, and it has lots of implications in rhinoplasty. If the septum is too high in this direction along the bridge, you create a bump. If the septum is crooked along the front or along the bridge, the nose can be crooked. And if the septum is deviated internally, it creates breathing problems. The septum sits at the top of the architectural hierarchy of the nose. Because the septum is the foundation of the nose, it's interconnected very intimately with the nasal bones. And these two structures have a significant bearing on the position of the cartilaginous structures in the lower two-thirds of the nose. So there's an adage in rhinoplasty that where the septum goes, so goes the nose. This is seen in these patients. The bottom of the septum is crooked off to this patient's side, causing obstruction and deviation. The septum is overdeveloped on the bridge of this patient, causing a big bump. So the septum clearly has several roles inside the nose. The l strut portion of the septum refers to this segment. So this is a side view of the septum, an illustration with the rest of the nose removed. This portion along the bridge and this portion between the nostrils serves as the foundation of the nose. When we do traditional septoplasty, we remove this portion of the septum behind the so-called L-strut. However, manipulation or modification of this L-strut is necessary to fix certain type of problems in the nose. For example, in a patient like this, where the L-strut is a little crooked off to the left side, septal cartilage can be placed from a graft and inserted into the area of deficiency along the l strut allowing the nose to become straightened. This is an example of a problem that we will see if a bump is removed from the bridge. When this happens, the septum is disconnected from the upper cartilages, creating a situation where pinching might occur. The spreader graft, which is a technique of placing cartilage between the gap from the new front edge of the septum and these upper cartilages, can be used to prevent this type of pinching. It's also a useful technique to straighten a nose, such as in this situation. Again, a spreader graft was placed with the appropriate thickness on the depressed portion of the middle part of this gentleman's nose to create his overall straightening. <clears throat> Sometimes along the front edge, if the septum is deviated, the septum can be released from its attachments and repositioned into a straighter orientation. This is shown in this young woman who had a deviation of her septum toward her left side. Straightening it allows it to improve the overall orientation and breathing of the nose. Cartilage was also placed in the middle portion of the nose to allow the l strut portion of the septum on the bridge to be straighter as well as in the base. If the septum is severely deviated, a portion of the septum may actually need to be removed and replaced with a straight segment. This was the case in this gentleman. The bottom of the septum was severely deviated to the left, causing his tip to be deviated to that direction, as well as obstruction. He also had a big bump on the bridge where the septum was overdeveloped. Surgically, I repositioned the septum along the front. I added cartilage to the right side of the bridge, and I reduced the cartilage from the top, allowing his nose to be straighter, allowing his nose to breathe more effectively, and allowing the profile to be more refined. Sometimes if the septum is severely deviated, the majority of the cartilage needs to be removed and replaced, as you can see in this example. These grafts are larger and may be warranted in someone with a severely crooked nose, as in this gentleman. You can see his base view is also straightened and his profile is improved. When the septum is completely missing or very compromised, a very large graft using rib cartilage may be necessary to allow the septum to be reconstructed the nose to be refined and repositioned. Uh, the septum is clearly an important role for rhinoplasty, and skillful manipulation can lead to good results.